Well, hello, my dear creative. It's Olga Sergeyevna here, and welcome to Boost Your Creativity Challenge. Today, I'm going to share with you a really cool exercise where I'm going to touch upon positive and negative space. So, as an example for this exercise, we will be drawing um, Paul Henningsen. Uh, lamp so it's an iconic lamp so the very first thing i want you to do of course prepare a piece of paper a pencil and one marker the very first thing we do is we draw a vertical line it's going to be our vertical axis since this lamp is uh, symmetrical this is a really lamp from classic collection p ash lamps so uh it's really important to give yourself some guidelines for this lamp. Uh, when I uh, attended an exhibition on Danish design here in Auckland, uh, I really enjoyed uh, professional drawings and exploratory studies for this lamp. And I noticed that uh, uh, the designer, uh, Paul Henningsen, he actually uh, used the golden section to create this lamp. So we draw a couple of guidelines. Then we want to help ourselves with the width. So the top part will be approximately the same as the height. Uh, that means that I need to make it a little bit shorter, like that. Then uh, we create two vertical lines. Uh, which then go into curves and this gives us kind of a basis the spine of the lamp and on top of this we can uh, put uh, some extra things so we will put uh, the thing on top and of course uh, the widest part will be here in the middle so I give it from one side and and measure it and give it on the other side. And here we have like a plateau and then from it we give a nice beautiful curve. Nice beautiful curve for this lamp. And the same happens with the bottom part. So here we simply connect. Let's check if, if the width is right. And here we go. So this is one of the most classical lamps. Uh, but what I want you to do now is to make a hatching of the inside form. And now we are going to draw it um, a little bit faster. So as you can see, now we use some guidelines to help us with the proportions and so on. And it's really important to understand proportions as well as positive negative study. So the space which I just hatched, that's what we call in art um, positive study. If we draw it right here uh, and fill it in with marker, it will look like that. So this is the basic form of the object, right? So let's do it with my marker. So this is the object as we used to perceive it, right? Uh, negative study is also very important. So let's call this one positive study. The negative study is the space around this object. So if we would take this lamp and make an imaginary box around it, like a square form around it, and if we would hatch the space, the white space, it would give us the negative study. So I'll do it here, right here. So now what I'm doing is I'm focusing on the form which is created by the white space around the object. So not on the object itself, okay? And now I'm trying to copy that. So I look at this form, this looks like uh, a bird, right? So imagine you can use all sorts of imagination. So uh, you can imagine that this is uh, like a claw or something, or 
or some knolls <laughs> so your fantasy can really work here beautifully this shape might look as a uh, ship or something on the ocean so you just play with that okay so we focus on this study and then we fill in this negative space i'll fill it with the red color so in this this is it for this tutorial that's what i wanted to show you the basic concept of positive and negative study i hope you enjoyed it and for more information of course visit on my website schoolsketching.com thank you so much and i'll see you very very soon bye for now